Hello and welcome to my channel on human design. Today we're going to be looking at the 3-5 profile. I, I love 3-5s. They are such great characters. I mean, we've got the 3, which is the experiential uh, line there. And then we've got the 5, which is this attraction field that brings people to them. So many great stories I have heard from 3-5s. I mean, you are here to learn by trial and error to get the experience but you need to understand a few things okay the first thing is people can't actually see you when they initially meet you there is this projection screen where they have all these expectations upon you and it works the other way too you can have expectations of them so they can't see you and, and it's only after they spent uh, a few months with you that they see behind the screen and you see behind the screen so please understand you know you're designed to to find out about the other in a in a slower way because in the in the immediate moment there's going to be all these expectations from you and from them about what it's all about and the other thing, um, I mean, you can play with the projection screen. I, I advise uh, fifth lines to, to wear sunglasses so people can't see where their eyes are going easily um, because the projection screen often connects to the eyes. I mean, and other things, but uh, that's, that's a, a useful tip, I think. The other thing about three fives is the trial and error. Um, people have said to me before, um, some of the things I've said have been quite uh, negative. Well, they're not negative. I don't take it personally and neither should you. I'm a one three. I mean, I learned by trial and error, but my error is behind me because it's unconscious. Yours is right in your face. And in that sense, there are really kind of two types of, of three, five that I've met. Those that are really kind of depressed and everything doesn't work and they've kind of they've been crushed by the third line experience but this is the problem they could that will happen if you don't move on so one of the main things to understand is you have to you have to break the bond if you're going to keep being resilient and move on and if you do that then you move from one experience to another and you gain all this experience. You know, it gives you it gives you a wisdom to be able to share with people that very few profiles can share because you're kind of up for it, up for the adventure. Think of the adventure in the third line. So I would say, well, don't take it too seriously. If, you know, I mean, any more than I do. You know, this is this is what ha happens. We learn by trial and error, but you also must forgive yourself. You know, when things don't work out and if and if there's no way to fix it, then you have to move on. But then let it go. Let it go. I mean, understand we've got to have a profile out there that is going to gain experience, that is going to attract people, that is going to experiment in some way with whatever is going on. So you're very, you know, you're very key profile in the development of consciousness and the development of the life of all of us. I mean, the fifth line part of you is is transpersonal it is a part of you where you can be a stranger of consequence when you come in at a time of crisis you, you know wait for the crisis to happen and then dive in because that's when the practicality comes that's when there are there are abilities in you you may not even know come to come to bear and they can help a lot of people um so understand that rather than thinking oh you know, another failed relationship or, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do now and all the rest of it. Think of it more like, um, think of it more like a bouncing ball that keeps on going and that resilience to keep going from one thing to another. And the trial and error, by the way, isn't, isn't like, oh, it's all gone wrong. What did you learn from it? What did you learn from it? How much more wisdom have you got from that experience? Um, when I've seen people who are not involved with human design or are getting into it, sometimes I see a kind of a wariness with them about um, <clears throat> just not sure, kind of wanting to wanting to hold back because of the past experiences that they haven't been able to let go of. Um, and then they get into their flow of whatever it is. But the main thing is 
you know, you're designed to keep moving until you get to um, a place or with a partner where you can have that that ability to be with them and then also to be away from them and then to come back and be with them. Familiarity breeds contempt in the fifth line. So it's better for you to go in and do the job and then leave with the wanting more. Then it, then it keeps on bringing you back. They go, oh, what a wonderful person that was. We must bring them back. You know, if you if you stay, if you overstay, you're welcome. Then it becomes um, then it can become um, you get the blame for things. You know, one minute you're the savior, the next minute it's all your fault. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know that's part of the experience. And it may be you may have done nothing. It may just be a projection. So don't take it seriously. See that understand that people can't see you until they've spent time with you. This is such an important uh, aspect for you to understand. The other thing is to not only forgive yourself for the things that can happen and you go, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Rather than that, what did you learn? And what experience have you had? And what's next? You know, depending on your type, you know, if you're a generator, well, then there will be a response to the next thing. And it may be if there is nothing to respond to, if you're in one of those in-between spaces, please understand there is a karmic connection to your profile. So there will be certain people that come into your life at certain times in order to help you through whatever it is. Um, you're not alone and you're never going to be alone walking around with a fifth line body. I mean, may, it's an attraction field, but it's also something that, that will bring people to you, whether they know or not why they're coming. And this is, this is not for you to have to work out. It's just to watch it to watch what happens, to see that you're still expanding, you're still growing in your process. Um, if you're a projector, you know, and you accepted the wrong invitation before, you don't have to beat yourself about it endlessly. Wait for the next one, but this time, remembering what happened before, with it still in your, in your mind's eye, wait for a genuine invitation to come in. Don't jump in too quickly. Um, feel the lay of the land before you come in. Um, it's it's something to understand, especially if you're if you're a manifest and people can't see behind the screen initially, and then you're impacting with one thing or another. It can be very positive, but then the expectation is for more or whatever it may be, um, and they can't sense through the closed and repelling aura um, what is going to what is about to happen. So. Quite often things can happen suddenly uh, with a manifest of three, five that they're not expecting and neither is the other person expecting. It's like, okay, so now we're in a crisis, now we've got to get out of it. But you've got that inbuilt in you to help you and to help them move beyond whatever it is. So you don't come uh, unprepared for your life. And really what I want to say is you're here to have a really full life. Make it a, make it a life worthwhile. Don't be too wary and, and and deny yourself an experience that could expand you. Um, working in relationship, working with people, this is something that you can you can get beyond in terms of the trial and error. You can say the most appropriate thing sometimes when no one else would say it. I have seen amazing things come out of the mouths of three fives that are just what people needed to hear. So I want you to to respect yourself, to to understand the the profile that you've got, and enjoy it, because it does lead to a very rich and fulfilling life if you're correct, um, and an exciting one too. One last uh, thing, uh, Ra used to talk about uh, three fives as they escaped to Ibiza to escape their bad reputation, because it's about it's about reputation. So. People are always going to be speaking about you behind your back at some level. If it's practical, if it's a practical um, impact that you've made, then they're going to be speaking highly about you. Uh, if it's not practical, then they're going to blame you. Then you want to run away and get somewhere else. And, and quite often, three fives do move out from where they were born. Um, but, you know, they went to Ibiza and what happened? They found Ra, they found human design, they found a new life that, you know, where you bounce to can be very correct for you if you're correct. 
so um yeah enjoy the life enjoy the life enjoy the special quality you bring to people because they enjoy it you know don't worry about the ones that you that that failed leave that behind you keep going gain the experience and enjoy your life okay well i hope you enjoyed that video if you want to know more about the three five profile there is a link in the description below which will take you to uh three five profile film on my website which has all the different keynotes for the three five and then you get the complete story uh, but i give you some good tips in this one i hope uh, I hope you like this. Uh, please like it, please share it, and please subscribe so you'll get the uh, the, the uh, notifications when two videos are coming out every week from me now. So make sure you don't miss one. Thank you. See you again. Bye.